is dead. So we can confirm the self implosion because we had Joy Reid that said uh, last week that the Obama people. Now you know if you piss off Obama, that's a DNC collapse. Yeah. That said, um, I too was on the phone throughout much of the debate um, with. Um, Obama, world people, with the Democrats, um, with people who are political operatives, with campaign operatives. My phone really never stopped uh, buzzing throughout. And the um, universal reaction was somewhere approaching panic. Hmm. Um, the people who were texting with me were um, very concerned um, about uh, President Biden seeming extremely feeble, seeming extremely weak. and. You know, I'll just reiterate what I said earlier. President Biden had one job tonight, and it was it, it one primary job. And yes, it was to litigate Donald Trump's, you know, criminality and, and all of those things. But he had to settle his own party. Mm -hmm. He needed to settle Democrats. Democrats, you know, they always talk about Democrats are bedwetters and Democrats are always panicking. Yes, Democrats are always panicking. They're always scared, you, right? They're always thinking they're going to lose. Like Democrats are very pessimistic. They're, they're, this is just neurotic. who they are. They're neurotic. But Joe Biden's job was to reassure them tonight. His job was to calm his party, to make them feel that, yes, I can do this. I have four more years in me. I have the ability uh, and the stamina and the strength to do four more years. Yeah, um, so I want to um, call out in the, in the cheap fakes video that we did, that we, that we posted today. Um, we, we read that Daily Mail article about how there was like a Democratic strategist talking about how if Joe Biden basically has this to debate to prove to donors that he you know can finish a sentence and not collapse on himself and not shit in his diaper. And he did, and if the, and that if he does not do that, that they were going to replace. But now the, the the Biden replacement talks were already coming in like a year ago. If mm -hmm. you remember, yeah, but they at, I, specifically last week, and if you watch that video that we posted today from the the, the cheap fakes video, um, which was kind of like the opening to it, but like you know, I, I closed with that, or we were closing with that, and uh, that pretty much pointed out exactly what's happening here in real time. These conversations are happening because you need to like really follow the money and like who's really controlling the Democratic Party because it's it's you know it's a mix of people and like we in that article that Daily Mail article specifically mentioned Schumer I believe but it but Pelosi Obama Clinton um, and like a whole like mix of people to um, step down so go watch that one. Um, even Nancy Pelosi, after shilling for him, uh, now is validating these questions. Mm -hmm. So we have all these things that he was masterful in helping to orchestrate, to write, and to pass. So he has a vision, he has knowledge, he has judgment, he has a strategic thinking in the rest, he has a bad night. Now, again, I think it's a legitimate question to say, is this an episode or is this a, a condition? So we have all these things that he was masterful. Masterful. Okay. Masterful. Well, you, you can call that masterful. But, um, yeah, I don't know how many you – know, it, it probably took a couple of zannies for her to be able to say that. Um, oh, she started drinking at 8 a.m. Guarantee. Yeah, you can kind of tell, like, you can kind of tell, even when mainstream media is kind of saying, like, it's over, but CNN led with this la yesterday morning. It's they led over. with this story. They led with the campaign in crisis. This is a live look at the White House. Can you see inside the windows to see what the discussion is in there today? No, but there is a lot we are standing by for to see what happens today, like six days after the presidential debate and the Democrats' dam of support for President Biden showing real cracks. There are calls for more transparency uh, around his health, calls for him to step aside, and calls for his VP, Kamala Harris, to step in. 
and those calls are growing louder. In hours, President Biden will have lunch with the vice president. We also know the White House will soon hold an all-staff phone call. And there's also potentially a watershed moment today when Biden is meeting with a group of Democratic governors, some already expressing real concern. This is a live look at the White House. Can you see Yeah. Um... Big decisions are happening behind the scenes. Um, the NC is in complete crisis. And you want to know why? When when it's not, not only just mainstream media reporting on it, but the donors. Yep. The donors are coming after you. This is an incredible watch. But Pissed off at the Founding Fathers. They had the start date of 35. They just didn't give us the end date. Um, and uh, well, everybody died, so they didn't have to give the end date. Um, I don't want to deal with Donald Trump and what he said was true. For, that's it's a given. Certain things. I'm not going to talk about CNN. <clears throat> Here's what Biden did. He uh, said he was going to run for one term, and he's doing it to restore democracy. He now runs for a second term. Um, first bit of malarkey, as he would say. Then now, now, listen, this is a Hollywood DNC mega donor. Yeah, <clears throat> just for a, a bit of context. Of just yeah. for a bit of this context, is this guy is... Uh, is the head of one of the biggest uh, agencies in Hollywood. This was actually the inspiration for Ari Gold of Entourage's character. So <laughs> then um, he says that um, this is for the. It's a. This is why I, I, I forgot. I, I wanted to mention this is why we follow the money. You always follow the money. Once the money stops, of course. The, yeah. This, you know, quintessential thought about saving democracy and it's so important, etc. He, he, they, his, his cohorts have told us that he's healthy for over a year, and I think it was two weeks ago there was an article in the Wall Street Journal. And I had a father who was died at 92, but at 60, at 81, I took away his car, and it's a very simple test for me. If you were driving from anywhere they understand from downtown Beverly Hills to Malibu, would you want Biden to do it at night? Would you want Trump to do it at night? We want neither. If the answer is neither, you cannot have them running a twenty-seven trillion dollar company called the United States. Okay. okay. That's very telling. Very telling. <clears throat> And this is why we say here, this is what I, this is what we mean when we talk to talk about a dictatorship of the bourgeoisie, because it's a very simple transaction. Okay, these people, the rich and powerful, they fund the politicians. The politicians get in. They count on them to get in, so they can then cook the books and craft the laws and create the policies that benefit them and fuck you and me over. Okay. This That's man the, said this. This man said the multi-trillion-dollar company called the United States. He called the he called our country a company. It is a company. I don't think anyone like kind of like really. I know. I think about everyone knows that, but like I don't think anyone can like really like sink that in. He said that to a public audience. It's like everyone realizes it, but like no one wants to like say that. And then we sat in a situation where. Um, he went to France for the 80th anniversary and talked about the sacrifice that those soldiers made for us. Um, so he has said, you know, and his, his cohorts have said, he's the only one that has defeated Trump. It's, it does seem like Donald Trump says, he, Donald Trump said, I'm the only one I alone can save, um, or make all these problems go away. And now Biden is saying, I'm the only one that can beat Trump. Seems like it's pretty similar here. And we have a great bench in the Democratic Party. And so 
We're looking at a man who's saying the other guy's a liar, and he's telling us malarkey. His people are telling us malarkey. But we're in a very bad problem. He is not the candidate anymore. I mean, if you all remember, this is a legal issue now. He was going to get kicked off the ballot in, in Ohio. They el elected him the candidate. So you no longer can remove him. In three swing states, <clears throat> Wisconsin, Pennsylvania, and Michigan, there's only one Democratic Congress, Michigan. They have to vote to remove him. I don't believe the Republican Party in, in, in Pennsylvania and in, in Wisconsin are going to do that. Okay. And if they do, it's then Kamala Harris. You, you, we don't have, there's, it, this is legal, so lawyers gotta, have to look at this. And everybody says, well, get rid of them and broker convention. No. Now, maybe the delegates, there's some question whether the delegates can do something. And I promised myself I wasn't going to swear. So we're in a, there's a pickle. Yo, he's, he's, you can tell they're pissed. The donors are pissed. <laughs> you know, the lifeblood to, and I have a brother who's a politician. He's an ambassador, as it said. The lifeblood to a campaign in politics, the lifeblood is money. There it is. Yep. Right there. And maybe the only way this gets with smart lawyers looking at it, is if the money starts drying up. And I've talked, I mean, I'm assuming all of you've gotten a lot of calls, I've gotten a lot of calls, we've all sat there, it was, it was. Well, I was gonna say, what happens now? You know, and, 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 and if, 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 but if this is, as Biden says, the fight for our democracy, and he talks about the soldiers, man, he, 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 he gave us a bunch of malarkey, and I'm really pissed. Right. And we all should be really pissed. Right. That it's it's they as we laid out in the, that Daily Mail article from a week before this happened, he had one shot and he was supposed to not fuck it up. And he fuck and knowing Biden, he fucked it up. <laughs> so this is just a natural result. This is and what does this do to Jeffrey Katzenberg's fundraising? Well, you know, Hollywood. Jeffrey, I mean, you're going to know in the next couple, you're going to see polling, you're going to see the TOIT funders. In, in the next couple of weeks, if the money comes in, I, I talked to a bunch of big donors and they're moving all their money to Congress and the Senate. Um, I mean, I cannot believe we're in this situation. Well, as one of the great disruptors. This man slapped his laps like a baby. Like, He's like, of course. yeah. So yeah, he, of course. he was like, <laughs> but that's how you know. Like, they're pissed off. They're pissed. Off. What? They wanted what? It. Sorry. What do you mean you can't believe you're in this situation? Okay. I, I'm sorry. I don't understand this weird framing of like, I can't believe Joe Biden has a brain that is filled with ramen noodles. I can't believe this. I, it's just I, pure soup. It's all soup. I, I don't actually know who Joe Biden is at all. I was just told he's doing some po politics stuff. How are you guys all like so bamboozled by this? We've It's in our fucking intro to this show. Okay? It's been... <laughs> the dude has said gibberish for fucking years now, and you're like, oh, I am just so befuddled by this news. Bro, do you, do you live, do you just live in like a castle? Do you, do you not interact with any other human beings at all? Holy shitting fuck, fuck boss. Disruptors in your career. I mean, Can't you have to it. Buy and sleep it's a legal issue now. Yeah. yeah. You're, 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 you're not in. I'm going to resign, you know, in, unless the lawyers tell you something else. And maybe there's some wiggle room. I, I haven't seen it, and I'm not a lawyer, but we're in fuck city. <laughs> okay, I'm glad we got to that. Fuck city. Yeah, you know what so I think this actually, you know what I think this, sorry, real quick. You know what I think this actually is? 
I think they knew he was a a walking a walking sweet potato. I think they knew that. But I think what the donors are panicking about most. I think they is, thought the drugs were going to work. But now I think I his tolerance is too high. I don't. Yeah. I'm not necessarily that. What I think they're freaking out about is on C- on fucking CNN the the uh, the 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 network that does nothing but chill for Biden twenty four seven. Um, he took a massive L and showed that his brain was melting to the entire public. And I think why that's a problem for the donors is this whole dictatorship of the bourgeoisie thing. This grift they got going on, this bullshit only works if the public buys in and the public is fooled into thinking they actually live under a democracy, that these politicians actually work for them. And I feel like after that debate, a lot of people completely lost confidence. So a lot of these donors are like, oh, fuck, the other dude's going to win. That means the other donors, and it's all control, but we'll get into that, but like – Oh fuck! The other dude's gonna win. We're investing in the wrong candidate. This is not a good return on our investments. Also, again, it shattered this whole "we live in a democracy" thing. We'll get to this later, but it essentially communicated that it's like if this guy, if this guy's brain is just filled with various Lego blocks, then it's painfully obvious he doesn't run the country. Which, which provokes a follow-up question. It provokes a follow-up question for a lot of people where it's like, we are run by a melty brain, 800-year-old cadaver. So who's making all these decisions? Just look, watch. There's, 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 a, there's a bit of a debate going on right now, whether he should just stay just or, or go. It seems like the, the donors posted this a couple days ago. Um, <laughs> I love this. This is incredible. I don't think Biden is going anywhere, the donor told CNN. The Democratic Party donor told CNN. This is the old horse we've got, and we need to ride him until he's ready for the glue factory. Bro, he was ready for the glue factory two years this ago. This is how they talk. This is how they talk. Not going anywhere. And that motherfucker could keel over tomorrow. I don't think he'll live till – I don't think he'll be alive on Monday. I think he might no, be dead. I don't, dude, I think he's going to die before the election. I genuinely think they're really like, something's going to happen to him, whatever. The dude, um, John Stewart did the best. I hate to give props to John Stewart, but he had a really funny quip. He said during the debate, Biden had resting 25th Amendment face. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, who said that? John Stewart. Oh, Jesus he, Christ. He's not on board. He's like, what the fuck is this? Like he was roasting by no, dude. That even you can't, you can't. You, like no one can deny it anymore because everyone watched that debate and they were like, "What the fuck is happening?" Yeah, everybody switched on a dime. So in in Silicon Valley, a group of mega donors, including yeah. Ron Conway and Ron Powell, were calling, texting, and emailing one another about the situation they described as a possible catastrophe. The donors wondered about who in the Biden contact, which was Jill Biden. The first lady. So this really begs the question, what is really keeping Joe Biden in? Um, there's, you know, a lot of calls for him to just simply step down. Um, and there's been debates. I mean, he's coming back with his family at Camp David with Hunter and Jill. Um Apparently, he told a close ally uh, yeah, just yesterday that he's considering dropping out. Good morning, top of the hour. You are live. And CNN is reporting this. Just, uh, just to is this, is the, they, keep, they keep running this. They keep running this shit. So, like, they're, like everyone's making noise about this. There's complete, like, meltdown right now. Hill in New York, and we do begin this hour with breaking news. The New York Times reporting President Biden has told an ally, a close ally, he is considering whether to stay in the presidential race. This is the first indication Mr. Biden could end his re-election bid as the fallout from his disastrous debate performance uh, continues to be felt. Joining- Good morning, Tom. Um, 
And to the people who are like, oh my god, why does he keep flip-flopping between like, I'm not going anywhere and I might drop out? Have you looked at his brain? <laughs> this was evident for the past four years. I don't know why everyone's waking up doing that. I really don't. I really don't. <laughs> Who no. can replace Joe Biden? The presidential debate was so disastrous that this question has arisen. Kamala Harris comes to everyone's mind first, but Democrats could also pick Gavin Newsom, Gretchen Whitmer, J.B. Pritzker, Pete Buttigieg, Amy Kohlberger, or Cory Booker. At the Democratic National Convention in August, delegates would vote to choose a nominee if Biden stepped down. If Biden drops out after the convention, the party's main committee would select the new nominee. They also have the authority to choose a new candidate if either the presidential or vice presidential nominee withdraws or will it be Biden's running mate Camilla Harris? That's still the question.